on, this Steven C. Raphael, the O Mad Man. <clears throat> Check one! Is this thing even on? Yeah, oh, I hate being bald. Yeah, what's going on? You guys aren't gonna go for an imposter, are you? Okay, I would like to say this is uh, promoting one meal a day, and uh, I am your OMAD man coming down from the planet of Omania, and we've got a lot of new things to talk about. Here we go. Okay, <clears throat> check one. Okay, let's see. This channel here is, uh, I will be doing a video for the rest of my life every single day. I've done about 125 or 130 videos on every single situation promoting one meal a day. This is what I used to look like. I had face Latoya, look at the face. Look at that, look at that fake smile. Okay, look at the fake hair. And there I am about four or five months later. Uh, I was 200 pounds, now I am down. And uh, there I was, for people who've never seen this video, we got some new subscribers, look at that stomach. You know, I could fit a lot of things in there. Are you chasing a mirage? Do you constantly chase hunger? Let me tell you something, let's go over the uh, beginning parts of, uh, of OMAD. Um, Okay, uh, first off, you have to weigh yourself every morning. These are must things. These is, this is like OMAD uh, level 101. There's a lot of different OMAD people out there, but I try to make it a little bit uh, more entertaining. So I got some songs on the wall about fat people and about myself and about OMAD. OMAD is the diet for me. Okay, I'd like to talk about every day you gotta weigh yourself with your clothes off for the second you wake up. So you could um, please, uh, you could jot how you're doing, because what if you don't know what you're having to do? And I had a student named Zach, and he has a, he's got a trainer, he's 15 years old, and he looks a little overweight, and I said, you gaining weight? And he goes, I don't know. And so I said, well, why don't you weigh yourself? And the grandma goes, maybe we should buy him for his birthday a uh, scale. Okay, and then write down every day. Today is day 219. Could be 18, I got it written down. Uh, <laughs> of doing OMAD. Mm, one, two. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. And I would like to say that, uh, so write down every day and weigh yourself. And uh, I just saw a uh, incredible doctor, you know, back in Egypt. You know when they used to tell if somebody used to have uh, diabetes or not, if they were really overweight? They would pee in a hole. They dig up a little sand and then they get regular pay about a, uh, a foot away. And if ants would go into the hole where there was pee, it, because it was sweet. When I used to have pee uh, and I used to have di high diabetes number, it would smell wonderful. It would it just, because it smells like complete sweets because your pancreas can't get it out as fast as you think. Okay, there's this new doctor, I just, I just saw this commercial, he's from Arizona, it's doc, Dr. Colibine, and, uh, uh, or it could be a Bosa Bolin, and he says, this doctor has uh, uh, identified a gene, a beta cell or something, because uh, carbs and sugar have nothing to do with diabetes. Well, you know what? He's a doctor trying to make money, but you have to listen to his program and you have to buy his uh, pills, and you have to buy his book. You know what? Maybe his practice isn't doing very good. Okay, I would like to say we're three and a half minutes into the OMAD thing here, and uh, you know, I've got one big hit so far, uh, the guy over at Starbucks. Well, he's a big, big boy. He's a big, big boy. He weighs 375. He's a big, big boy. He's a big, 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 boy. He's a big boy. Okay, the guy is a large guy, okay? And I'm not picking on him. I just don't understand why somebody between 20 and 23 wants to be 375. And every time I hear when there's no customers there, he's always complaining with his, his uh, co-workers, okay? So, uh, whatever. Okay, now I'd like to say, now, uh, insulin uh, going up and down. Everybody has insulin. It gets spiked. You, you know, you get low blood sugar. You get cranky. I used to have major depression for about... 40 years or so, well, 39 years, because I'm 54, and uh, it all kind of started when I was 15. Uh, but I used to have a lot of anxiety. I used to take Xanax. I'm, uh, you know, uh, what if I don't do good? Uh, what if I don't get the job? What if I don't have enough money? You know, you know what? Once I started eating one meal a day, OMAD is the diet for me. OMAD is the life for me. Flag. You're gonna love it. Oh, I'm You know, 
I just ordered a new cup. This one says, I like you, and it has the O Mad Man. Uh, I haven't collected all of them yet, but this one says, OMAD is the life for me. And I forgot it kind of goes like that. OMAD is the life for me. You know, it's not a diet. It's not a lifestyle. You just eat it once a day. I got some advice for you. Lose some weight. <laughs> oh, gosh. Was, okay, check it out. There I was. There I am. My nails look clean today. I'd like to also show you another picture. Okay, there I am now. I'm completely self-confident. Check one. Gosh, can you, you guys hear me? Look at this, okay, fake smile. Okay, look at myself now. I look self-assured. Would you hire me? Yes. Look at this guy, uh, yellow teeth, and my hair is completely white. Look at this, at least I'm making some effort. Okay, look at my, <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, and this is like a couple years ago, I think. Okay, um, what I'd like to go on straight now is a little bit of OMAD basics. It's kind of like, uh, what's his name? Mr. Rogers. Okay, you know, Steve, he comes and he does his shoes and his coat and all that kind of stuff. So, Steve, please make sure for the people who haven't seen your show again, make sure you go over all. Uh, Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. Oh, okay. All right, Mr. Rogers. Thanks a lot. Okay, so let's see. I do the show every single day, eating one meal a day, and I lost uh, 60 pounds in six months. And uh, every single day, the most important thing is, is reaffirming your decision. Your decision has to be just as important today as it was the first day that you did it. Yeah. Oh, can I get a what? What? Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, enough of that. Okay, let's see. Now you gotta take one average plate. You know, if you eat one meal a day and you and you heap it up three feet high and it's falling off the edges, you know, you're not gonna lose any weight. Okay. But if you're just starting and today's your first day, if you wanna put a little bit more extra food on it, that's fine. And the next day, maybe a couple crumbs less and so on and so on. But write down every single day what you're on. I'm on like day 219 or something. And, uh, and you know, if you'd like to have my food list of every single thing I've ate for the last 219 days, it's gonna be cool when I have OMAD Man the first year. Okay, and the cool thing about it, I'd like to talk about alcoholism soon. I don't have it, but I, I, I just I got a really good thing. We got too many other things to go over uh, here. So one average plate a day, and we're gonna go straight on to the Zen proverb. Here we go. <laughs> Man. Oh, mad man, teach me about weight loss through a proverb and the Zen Chinese book thing. Okay, good grasshopper. To know the path ahead, ask those coming back. Because I am the old mad man. There's no business like show business. There's no business I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything that traffic would allow. Where else could you get that happy feeling? Then you are stealing that extra bad. Oh, madman! Oh, madman! Continue with your show. Stop playing the piano. Okay, miss, eat too much food. She's got faceation. Okay, sorry. I, sometimes I break into song. I just can't help it. Okay, nobody else, I don't, there's no piano bars or nothing. Okay, now listen, I play at this department store and it's a snooze fest. There's nobody there. I can't take much more of it. Okay, listen, okay, we're, we're gonna go into, uh, okay, um, to know the road ahead, ask those who are on the way back. Okay, here's what you know, your road is ahead. One plate a day. You're gonna be hungry. You're gonna be, you're gonna be losing some weight. I've lost 60 pounds in six months. And let me see. So ask me. Don't ask your doctor with the large tuchus or your nurse. All of them are arrogant because they went to school like 20 years ago and got a certificate. Big wow. You know what? Do they have tuchusation? Do they have thick legation? You know, do they have... Do they have no neck? <laughs> I just came up with a new one. Okay, let's see. And uh, learn to deal with hunger. Okay, let's see. All right. Now, um, the thing about OMAD, I'm going to every single day I go into...
every day I go into, I have 96 things memorized. And when I'm driving in my car, when I'm driving in my car, okay, when I'm driving in my car, um, besides turn on the radio, <laughs> no, that's a song. Okay, I got, uh, I'm gonna go from 10 to 20 today. Okay, number 10, you will have more energy. Yes, you will have more energy and you will be in a better mood. Going back to the one thing, I don't even know if I finished my, my thought, but uh, it cured my anxiety because my, my insulin level isn't down and up. Then I got to have some candy or some pizza. You know, oh, the pizza didn't do it for me. So now I got to go to, a, uh, I got to go to Taco Bell drive through but that didn't really work. So now I got to go get a foot long. You know what? Do you know how much work your body's going through? Maybe if you're 20 years old and you're an athlete, yeah, but what's gonna happen when you're 30 and you're not an athlete and you still have those habits? You're gonna be big and your kids are gonna be, but you know, you won't care because you'll be on your iPhone all day. <clears throat> okay, now, another thing you'll be, uh, you'll be in a better mood. Uh, let's see, the 12th thing is you're gonna have better cognition. Look how fast I can talk before I was stuttering, which you all kind of know about that. Okay, we're, let me tell you one thing here. O-B-Z-T is what she says to me. No, I don't know how to spell it. I'm completely not joking. Ask to see my food list. Half of it's misspelled. You'll have to try to defragment some of it yourself. Okay, let's see. Another thing is number 13. You will have decreased inflammatory. Your inflammation will be gone. Okay, you will have lower blood pressure. Do you know that I once took my blood pressure and it shot up and stained the ceiling because it was so high? Because I was a hungry, hungry man. I was a fat, fat man. I was a fat, fat man. I was chomping and chomping and chomping. You know what food is? Food is fuel. Food is fuel. Food is nothing but food. Fuel. <laughs> I've got so many songs here on the wall now, you know, but he's a big, big boy. He's a big, big boy. He's a big, big, big boy. That seems a song that everybody really likes the most. Okay, so are you the best version of yourself? Is what you're offering by your parents the best you could possibly be? Okay, whatever. Okay, um, I would like to go on to the 15th thing. Okay, it's gonna cure your heart disease. I have four stents. I was worried I wasn't gonna live long. At one point, I really didn't care if I did. I am the OMAD man. You can buy these cups uh, uh, on the uh, description, you know. They're really cool. They give a lot of different reasons. You know, this one's just a fun cup, yeah. I like you, OM, because I have turned myself into a superhero. And I think her name is Gilligan. Thank you very, very much for those sweet messages that you've been sending me. It really encourages me. You know, I went from living a very luxurious life in a big, beautiful house for 15 years being married. And uh, you know what? Uh, I gotta be honest with you. Um, I'm living in a little studio now. My wife kicked me out because I lost 60 pounds and uh, I got to do everything for myself, you know, but you know what? Just like an alcoholic who is recovered and forgot he has alcoholism, I have all these challenges that came out, but, but not only that, I am happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Don't feel sorry for me. The best thing in life, you know, Rejoice whenever you face trials of many kind because you know the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work in order that you may be pure and complete, not lacking in everything. Yeah, I'm tested, but I completely forgot I was a food addict. And if you don't believe I was a food addict, I will tell. Boy, that's all I used to do. I would spend, it was at least 15 to $17 a day on uh, personal junk food, not counting the stuff I had in my house. Oh my God, we only got about a minute and a half left. Okay, I got other stuff that I uh, wanted to talk about. Please send me three grateful is what you're grateful about. Um, I know for the people that are looking for complete content on OMAD, there's other OMAD guys. I've lost 60 pounds in six months, and you know what? This is my credibility. Now, I like to play the little funny songs. It sounds like I'm apologizing for my show. Mm, one, two. I gotta go back to the planet of Omania. Okay, and uh, what else is there? Okay, let's see. It's gonna cure your diabetes. It's gonna cure your dementia. Um, dementia. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, number 18, it's gonna 
it's going to fix your fatty liver. 19 is going to give you self-control, and you're not going to be thinking of food all day. Okay, so we only got about 45 seconds left here, so just remember... If you're going to a party, it might be a St. Patrick's Day party. If you're going to a party, concentrate on the conversation at the party. You don't have to eat, you don't have to drink, you don't have to drink alcohol the whole time. Even if you drink Coke or Fruit Punch, don't have all those empty calories. Okay, let's see, what else do we got? How about this? I was had anxiety, but now I'm feeling better. My insulin is so good. OMAD. OMAD is the life for me. Okay, we got a lot of fun today. A lot of facts, a lot of things. Are you the best version of yourself? Thank you very much. And you know what? Now that I got this cup here, I could say, I like you.